Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Gospel and readings today reflect to us the great gift of God's love, that God has loved us from all eternity, and that we are to, sh we are to uh, enter into that love of God in our, in, the, in our intimate union with Him and that daily life of following Christ. <clears throat> As the Father loves me, so I also love you, remain in my love. And then Jesus teaches us how do we remain in his love? Because love is more than words, it is also proved, shown by action. And our Lord teaches us, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. That is the proof of our love, keeping the commandments. The love is not just some uh, words that we say, uh, and, uh, but it's shown by our actions, by our keeping the commandments. There are many people I've heard in my life say, I love God, but they, but they refuse to obey the commandments, they refuse to go to church on Sunday, they refuse to keep the, pre to, to keep the com commandments. And this is not true love. True love is not just uh, uh, true love is not just words, but it's shown by action. And each of us are called to be perfected in that love of God daily and, uh, and striving to be more faithful in following Christ and keeping the commandments. And, we, and our Lord reveals to us that, that in this we will find great joy, that we will have great joy in keeping his commandments and uh, 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 keeping commandments. There is one... Ch one thing that is priceless in the world, and that is a good conscience, that no, no gold or silver can, can, uh, can, uh, pay, can, uh, can ever uh, be of more value than the, than, the, when, than the grace of a good conscience, knowing that we are in the grace of God and uh, in his grace. And, uh, and, uh, and, and this we, we uh, of course, receive in obeying the commandments and following Christ and uh, striving to conform our life to him. Our Lord also teaches us uh, very, uh, uh, teaches us with great emphasis that our love of God is not enough, that we are called to expand that love, in our, expand that love, that it goes beyond uh, 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 the love of God, but also the love of neighbor, and that we are uh, to love one another and as if it wasn't enough for our Lord to say it once, but he repeats it. Uh, this I command you, love one another. Our Lord knows our human nature. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our fickleness. He knows uh, the struggles we have in loving each other. And in this, he calls us to, to, uh, to imitate him in loving, in loving our neighbor. Even those, those who do not love us, those who do not reciprocate that love, those who uh, uh, even may reject us or even uh, persecute us, our Lord is calling us to uh, great perfection in this call, in this command to love our neighbor. And of course, He shows this from from the cross, in which He said, "Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do." That our Lord even loved those who were persecuting Him and putting them to death, wanting only their salvation. And uh, and in this, we see that daily. Though we may have struggles in loving our neighbor, God is calling us to be perfected because heaven is the, the dwelling of perfect love. There, there can be no division in heaven. There can be no imperfection of love in heaven. And so it's much better to make those efforts here on earth than to have to do it in purgatory, in which we will have to be purified for love. Pure purgatory, above all, is being purified for being purified in love that our love was not pure for God or for neighbor. And so purgatory uh, 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 purifies that love that it may be perfect for God and neighbor because in heaven there can be no division, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, no 
uh, lack of perfection of this, this call of loving neighbor. And, uh, and so we, we know that there is a key for us to achieve this. Our Lord teaches us by his example. He gives us the sacraments when we fall from grace that we may get back up and love him and love neighbor more perfectly through the sacrament of confession. And then he nourishes us with his body, blood, soul, and divinity, his great, uh, his great gift uh, to help us to, uh, to be, uh, acquire that perfect love through intimate union with him in the Holy Eucharist. But our Lord has not stopped there. He also gave us his mother. And what more beautiful way to reflect upon this on this Mother's Day and then, uh, then the example of Our Lady, in which Our Lady said at Fatima uh, to Lucia, Jesus wishes to establish devotion to my Immaculate Heart. He wishes uh, you to remain in the world to establish, he wishes devotion in the world to my Immaculate Heart. Uh, that it is Jesus' desire that his mother's heart is honored and imitated and loved. And because her heart was most perfect in loving him in loving God and loving neighbor, that she, he, it is her heart that Jesus wishes to see in each of us, that that's why he, she was sent to Fatima, that we may see that the remedy for the weaknesses and frailties of our heart is the Immaculate Heart of Mary, that her heart is the key f to unlock our hearts and make them inflamed with that perfect love of God and neighbor, and that Jesus Wish, wish to, to, wishes to see in each of us the heart of his mother. I offer this Mass today for all our mothers, living and deceased, uh, that God may reward them for all their sacrifices and labors, and that uh, God may, uh, uh, and that God may sh shower his grace upon them for all the sacrifices they made for each of us. Uh, but as we remember Mother's Day today, we can't but reflect upon our true mother, our heavenly mother, that she is truly our mother, and that we are to turn to her daily in asking her assistance and maternal help in loving God and neighbor, and that we need to only draw close to her and ask her, and she will be quick to respond to us with all those graces we need and be imperfected in, in that call to love. We also want to remember, though, today for all mothers in general, especially those who, uh, those mothers who, uh, who, who, were, who, in in the in that gift of motherhood, do not recognize the gift that God is giving them, and may be considering to do that which is contrary to God's plan, uh, in not accepting that child which is God's gift, and redeemed by Christ. We pray for all these mothers that their their hearts may be changed that they may see the gift that God has given them to embrace and to accept that gift uh, from him. May our Blessed Mother grant, ble grant us the grace all today to be close to her heart and that through her heart we may truly go forward in loving God heroically and our neighbor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.